For more than a century, the Masonic Village at Elizabethtown has successfully combined a 1,400-acre crop and livestock operation with a full-service retirement community owned and operated by the Grand Lodge of Pennsylvania. We are uh, basically a retirement and nursing facility uh, situated in southeastern Pennsylvania that operates a full-fledged farm from top to bottom. We manage about 600 acres of about which half of that is uh, dedicated to the cattle and we have a pretty intensive grazing operation and about half of that is dedicated to row crops. Our cattle operation has evolved uh, uh, over the years from a small beef cattle herd to a predominantly purebred shorthorn uh, herd of cattle. Uh, about half of our total of 150 cow-calf pairs is shorthorns, the other half is uh, made up of crossbred uh, shorthorns and black cattle. From the beginning, the goal of the Masonic Village has been to create an environmentally sound farming operation that can also be enjoyed by the residents. Our main calving pasture has a, uh, uh, a venue where uh, residents can uh, uh, come out, sit on a bench and watch a, a, a calf nursing mom uh, in the springtime, it's a very therapeutic, uh, very uh, relaxing situation for them. They asked all kinds of questions about the farm and we're more than happy to give them the information. It's where they live. They live here every day and we try to take care of it. Masonic Village has partnered with a variety of groups to ensure their grasslands are managed in a sustainable way. They worked with NRCS to create a grazing plan to maximize production while conserving resources. Coming up with this plan was a challenge, since not all of the farm's pastures are located next to each other. We uh, designed a, a pattern of fencing that allowed us to not only graze those areas, but to utilize walkways and transfer points to be able to move cattle as a one-person option all the way across our farm enterprise. We've developed alleyways and temporary fencing to cross roads or go underneath bridges and different creek crossings to uh, move our cattle around that we can use all our ground. Masonic Village has been a pioneer when it comes to protecting water resources. They installed concrete, stabilized stream crossings to prevent erosion, and gave the creek a much needed facelift by removing a century's worth of sediment. This helped improve water quality and enhance wildlife habitat. Also, by fencing off streams and developing cattle watering systems, they have reduced soil erosion and runoff. We are very conscious of the fact that we are a tributary to the Susquehanna River, that then going just 70 miles to the south of us right into the Chesapeake Bay. It's important for us to be good stewards of our land and of our water. We've planned a spring collection system that pipes it through concrete water troughs to keep the cattle out of the creeks and uh, off the creek banks so that they have water in different places spread out that they're not all congregated at one spot for very long so it, it cuts down on soil compaction and erosion that way. Stewardship, care for the land, you know we're all in this fishbowl together. They do it very well here and it, they've shown that it can be profitable and it can be done correctly. Wildlife and birds are plentiful on the village's three freshwater ponds and residents also enjoy the vast gardens. In addition, the Masonic Village team operates a large farm market which includes beef produced on the farm. They also regularly open their gates to the public for field days and tours. They've done a really great job of letting uh, outside groups come in, uh, cattlemen's associations, uh, even feedlot uh, groups come in here to look at their operation and uh, see what they do from a cattle management standpoint, from an environmental standpoint, and also a uh, nutrient management standpoint. If I'm an urban dweller in America today, this is the neighbor that I would love to have. I think that um, there's so much of animal production story that you can see right here at Masonic Village, and the fact that they are so transparent and you can see how food is produced today is so vivid and clear, and uh, they, they do it all from, from pasture to plate. Over the past century, much has changed in the way Masonic Village operates. However, the high quality of care for the cattle and the land remains timeless. 
we as stewards of the property have a responsibility to hand over property to the next generation and those that follow uh, that is equal to or better than what we inherited. The one motto that I use is that we take blue sky and green grass and make red meat and it works really, really well. And we want to tell that story and show that we can be environmentally friendly to the land and produce a product that is a useful protein to feed the world, really.